What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Panthers advice. Today we're going over this defensive end right here. DJ Wanda with the scoop and score. He's special. Now who does he remind me of? Well to start with he actually reminds me of Brian Burns. The guy he's kind of replacing. Who else? Because obviously he's not in the same tier as Burns. He reminds me of Burns and Barno. Yes, Amari Barno who I think has the potential to be kind of like DJ right here. Now as you're going to see throughout the film... He's not quite as fast as Burns off the edge, but I love his mental game and he has quick hands. Stay with me, baby. I promise you this guy has a lot more potential than what he did last year with Minnesota. Let's take a look at the film. All right, guys. Now we're going to look at the first play. We have DJ over here on the right going against Icky one-on-one. -on -one. Take a look at this. Now, Icky's going to beat him from the jump. Icky's going to recover nicely. Bryce Young is going to leave the pocket and then bam, here comes DJ. Let's talk about what DJ did just now. So as we break this first play down, there's a lot to go over in the first few seconds. Right here, you're going to see DJ wants Icky to bite inside, right? Take a look at this one more time. He's going to go out, come back in. As you're going to see, Icky bites for a second and then recovers pretty nicely. So now DJ is kind of running out of options, right? A second or two has gone by. What's he do now? As you're going to see right here, bang. He moves him back pretty good. Icky recovers pretty nicely. So now what can DJ do? He could do a spin move, right? But if he does, Bryce Young can step into the pocket, right? So now he basically has to play the long game, hold Icky right there, see what Bryce Young is going to do, right? But as you're going to see, pressure up the front, bang, Bryce rolls out, and here comes DJ. Not a bad first play. Let's keep it going. This next play we're going to look at, you have DJ over here coming from the outside. The Vikings potentially blitzing six. The Bears only blocking five. Let's run this back real quick. So like I said before, Vikings potentially blitzing six. Three over here. Three over here. Bears five down linemen. Need I remind you, right here is going to be Fields' blind side. Why the Bears don't motion 85 over to basically chip DJ is beyond me. Because as you're going to see, take a look. Bang. All the Vikings want to do is get a body on each lineman. If they can do that, guess who's going to come in untouched? Because the Bears <laughs> only have five down linemen. So as you're going to see, bang, here comes DJ untouched. And that basically summed up the bear season in a nutshell. Well, I can't say much as a Panthers fan, but you guys know. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, you're going to have the Bears running an RPO, bringing DJ Moore in motion. You got DJ right here. Take a look at what happens. We're going to break it down after. Here comes DJ in motion. Justin does a great job sucking DJ in, and then bang, DJ reacts and helps take down the running back. Let's look at this one more time real quick. So as we look at it right here, you have DJ going in motion. Secondary is going to follow. So what's the next step right here? Once Justin gets the ball, he's trying to get DJ right here to bite and the outside guy too. If he can, he's going to kick it to the running back. The running back will only have to make the cornerback miss. But like you saw before, they bring DJ more in motion, right? So now he's got an extra blocker in front of him. But what happens right here? Bang, outside guy recognizes it. Good stuff right there. DJ is going to recognize it too. Help on the play. Bada bing, bada boom. Great stuff right there. A little great play recognition. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, you have DJ on the outside. Vikings are in a very wide front. DJ is going to get chipped, and then bang. That's exactly what I was telling you guys about, the hand game and the mental game. Let's run this back so I can show you guys real quick. So as you break this play down, bang right there, he's going to get chipped. Now that's going to throw him off a little bit. So how does he recover from that? Take a look right here. As he's coming off that chip, I want you guys to watch his feet. He's going to do a little stutter step. Take a look right here. Bang, 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 stutter step. Now, why does he do that, all right? Why does he do a stutter step? Take a look at that one more time. We see the chip right there. Chop those feet, chop those feet. Offensive lineman sticks that outside arm up. Bang, DJ swats that thing away, and then full speed ahead. On this play right here, we have DJ lined up on the outside. Take a look right here. As you're gonna see, he's gonna get to the outside. He does a spin move. Now, it had potential, but the guard actually saves the tackle Let's run this back so I can show you guys. DJ actually does a pretty good move right here. So take a look right here. So as we take a look at this one more time, you got DJ one-on-one -on -one with the tackle, right? He's going to bring him to the outside. Gets him pretty far out. He's going to do a spin move bang. Now take a look at the guard. He's watching the whole time. Take a look right here. He's going to see DJ do a spin move. He's going to give his guy off to the center right there. So as you're going to see, this spin move caused a sack, right? Bang. He does a spin move. Guard's going to pick that up, right? Jordan Love's going to step into the pocket like he's supposed to do. But now, since the center is trying to pick up this tackle right here, Jordan Love's actually going to trip on him. And that all happened because of that spin move. 
Good stuff, man. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, we've got DJ on the left. Take a look at this play. We're going to break it down after. Once again, a little stutter move, then bang. Basically turns into a bull rush. Even with the face mask, he helps take down the quarterback. Let's run this back real quick. So as we look at this play, you're going to see DJ is going to slow down, figure out what the tight end is doing. All right, tight end doesn't really chip him. Basically just slows DJ down, right? Let the play develop. As you're going to see right here, DJ is going to fully commit to that bull rush, right? Take a look. Full speed, bang. Take a look at what he does to the tackle right here. Just shoves him back. Boom. Shoves him back. Tackles grabbing that face mask. Doesn't stop DJ, man. He is right there. There was pressure to up the middle, right? But take a look at DJ right here. About right here, he's going to commit. Boom. Shoves that tackle back. I mean, take a look at that one more time. He's going to commit right here, full speed. He's got strength. He's got hands. He's quick. He's smart. I like him so far. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, this is what I was talking about when I said he's kind of like Burns, right? Now, obviously, there's a lot of edge guys who do what DJ did just now, right? Where they bend that shoulder, they get low. But I'm telling you, there's just something about DJ that just makes me think he's a mix of Barno and Burns. Take a look right here. He acts like he's going to go in, then bang. The second he gets that offensive lineman to stick his hands out, he's going to bend that shoulder, get low, and takes down the quarterback. Man, great stuff. Same thing as last time, guys. We're going to have DJ on the left side of your screen. Take a look. Brings that tackle out. Then bang, spins back in and takes down Mr. Russell Wilson. Let's take a look at this one more time, all right? Left side of your screen, once again, one-on-one. -on -one. Brings that tackle out, right? And then spin cycle back inside, as you're going to see. Bang. He's got a nice little bag. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's got a nice little bag. Take a look at this one more time. Brings that tackle out. Spins and takes down Russell Wilson, man. Let's keep this thing going. On this play right here, you're going to have DJ on the right side. Take a look what happens right here. The Vikings are actually going to run a stunt, and here comes DJ untouched up the middle. Let's run this back. I think Barno could benefit from a lot of stunts like this. Let me know what you guys think, but take a look at DJ right here. He's going to read this perfectly. Obviously, everybody else does their job right. Everyone's going to crash out, bang, crash out. He's going to get picked up right there, and this hole is going to be wide open across the middle. Take a look. This guy does his job perfectly. He crashes this way. Bang, right? Take a look what happens. Bada boom, bada bing. Down goes the QB, man. Great stuff. Let's keep it going. On our last play, we're going to have DJ over here on our left side. Take a look right here. They try and do a screen, and DJ is right there to swat that thing away, man. Take a look at that one more time. Bang, swats it away. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I like DJ a lot. He's got a nice spin move. He's got a nice chop move, bull rush, dip that shoulder, get low. And obviously he's got speed too. Let me know what you guys think of this pickup. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.